Zer's back and I'm late with the video, but that's okay because we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. Now I would like to apologize to everyone because yes, this video is late, however, I was in the hospital for several hours earlier today and don't worry, everything is fine and I am back to my regular schedule. So, Zer is located on IO by the giant scar so we're gonna mark him and find out what he has this week sir what's up dude so like always we're gonna start with the left hand side we have the weapon of the week which is the merciless it is an exotic fusion rifle that does solar damage and tries to perk on this is conserve momentum which non-lethal hits with projectiles make this weapon charge faster until its wielder gets a kill. Then we have Chambered Compensator, Extended Mag, uh, and Petis, which is the awesome trait, which reloading immediately after a kill increases weapon damage for a short time, as well as Fitted Stock. And like all exotic weapons, they do come with a plus five weapon attack mod. Now, if you guys don't have this, by all means, go ahead and grab it. This thing is great in PvE. Great, believe it or not, it's actually pretty good in PvP as well. Uh, but primarily, people, you see this in um, the raid, whether it be the raid lair or even the regular raid, Leviathan. It does pretty good. So I definitely would consider this a tier 1.5 to tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Because it is a pretty good uh, fusion rifle. However, the Telesto in PvP, I feel, is a lot better. But that's just me. Next exotic we'll be going to go over is the Young Ahamkara Spine for the Hunter class. This gives you a one mobility, resilience, and recovery. And trying to perk on this is Wish Dragon Teeth, which increases trip mine grenade duration and marks enemies damaged by the blast. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, plus Steel Reinforcement Mod, and this one comes with a plus five defense in the energy counterbalance mod. Now this is pretty decent for uh, your gunslinger. Personally, I think the young Ahagkara Spine was a lot better in Destiny 1 uh, versus Destiny 2. If I'm correct, it did give you a second trip mine grenade as well. But this is pretty decent, I guess, for the most part. But I do feel like there are better exotics out there instead of the young Ahagkara Spine. So, I'm probably going to give this a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP because I do feel like there are better exotics out there. Next exotic we'll be going to go over is the Mask of the Quiet One for the Titan, which gives you 1 mobility and 2 resilience. And trying to perk on this is Dreaded Visage, which grants melee, grenade, and class ability energy when damaged. Void Ability Kills Grant Health Regeneration. Next we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as a plus 5 in Defense for a Impact Absorption Mod. Now, this exotic it definitely is pretty good. It just says you just have to be damaged. So yeah, I definitely uh, like this exotic pretty much because you're always going to get shots or shot at by the enemy, whether it be PvE or PvP. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a, a top tier exotic to grab. So if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Wings of Sacred Dawn with a full mobility, which is a mobility of three and a one of recovery for the Warlock. The treasure perk on this is Tome of Dawn, which when Dawnblade is equipped, aiming weapons while in midair, suspend you there for a short time. Precision hits extend this effect's duration. And then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as a plus five in defense for a Power Bracket Mod. Now, I've said this before, don't waste your time on the Wings of Sacred Dawn. Being in the air in Destiny 2 is not cool. It, it really isn't. It was fun in Destiny 1 because nobody expected it, but team shooting is a huge thing in Destiny 2. And, yeah, you don't want to be in the air for that. 
You really don't. So I wouldn't suggest you actually do that. Then for our wonderful consumables, we do have the three of coins, which obviously increases the chance for exotic engrams uh, for four hours for 31 legendary shards. And last but not least, we have our wonderful faded engram for 97 legendary shards. This will indeed give you an exotic that you do not already have. And hopefully we will get the Orpheus rigs for our hunter. So let's find out. Nope. Oh, looks like we have another wonderful week waiting to get the Orpheus rigs. So the hunt is still on. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.